Radio Air FM. Not too many problems on the region's roads at the moment in Leeds City Centre. 96.9. Eight minutes past 12 o'clock on Dream FM 107.8. You're listening to Alice. Don't forget, coming up tonight, Alice's Adventures in Clubland with our very special guest this weekend, DJ Solitaire G, John Gilpin. From a potting shed in North Leeds, DJ Alice breaks the law to broadcast. We'd love to not be illegal, but as the situation stands, you know, I think that we're providing a service and I think it's really important that we stay on the air and if that means that I've got to break the law to do it, then... You know, I'm afraid that I am doing that. Sweet precious love so divine, bring on the mystery. Since uh, the end of last year, November time, uh, the radio investigation service has uh, had to raid Dream on uh, four occasions. Dream, like other pirates, um, set up on any frequencies that they choose to operate on. They interfere with other legitimate radio users. We work on here mainly at its administrative office, oh, first and foremost. We're here tonight answer all the calls and inquiries from listeners to make sure they get timetables and merchandise if you know if they want to purchase that. Hello Howard, it's Michelle from Dream Promotions in Leeds. Um, I'd like to send you some information regarding Dream FM and um, radio advertising. We broadcast from Leeds, but we're covering um, three major cities. That's Wakefield, Bradford, as well as Leeds, obviously, and all the suburbs. We can produce the ad for you, but we do prefer if you can do it yourself. But we do have like um, in-house production facilities if you require them. Um, but you'd have to supply them with a script, etc., and there'll be an additional cost. Okay then, I'll let. Uh, yeah, bye bye. We always make sure that everybody knows, and we we, we don't hide the fact at all. It's, it's pretty obvious as well that we're illegal. We just try and make sure that we're not treading on anybody's toes too much and that even though we are operating illegally, we try to not do anything that will harm anybody. No references to illegal activities. We can't be seen to incite anything. We also make a point of not treading on the toes of any other um, radio stations in this region. We, don't, we would never take advertising that anybody else could, could have. <laughs> I DJ in clubs as well. I don't just drink DJ and dream of I just don't think fans of dance music are catered for at all. It's like you've got one specialist show on national radio. It's a couple of hours a week and like dance music's just massive. It's crossed over into the charts. People want to hear dance music and they want to hear it all weekend and I think we should be able to. I'm going up to check the uh, transmitter on the roof of a block of flats and check that the aerials are all plugged in and that the box that the, tra the transmitter's in is uh, well secured. Where we are at the moment, the, the, la the caretaker's got no idea that we're there. Some people are really sympathetic towards you and sometimes you just have to go and just, just do it and hope you don't disturb anybody and nobody sees you doing it. This gets uh, the Earl of Leeds, this one, it's the best site we've had so far and we're, we're a bit loath to change it really. We do have two or three other good sites in Leeds but there's none that really compare to this. This, we've had reports from all over the place really. They can receive signal from here so we just like sticking to it. We have a link at the studio that sends the signal to a link on top of the block of the flat, on top of the block of flats and then from there we transmit. Very rarely transmit directly from 
from the studio. Because if we did, we'd be tracked straight away, and not only would they take us transmitter, but they'd take everything in the studio as well.